What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. I am hanging out in my AFK box. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know, these uh, seats from Bibliocraft work really well at slowing hunger loss. So, you know, you can just AFK on them for like two hours before you starve. Gives you much longer time in there. Um, yes, welcome back. I have some stuff to do. So I bred a couple of the cows. And uh, I also dumped a bunch of the sewage. Uh, ended up being about 25% of it. Uh, this has been running for quite a while. So we now have more than enough essence to finish off the quest. So I'm just going to lob that in there. And that's done. And I'll take that back. And then I can hand that quest in. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, it is go with the flow. And we get a reward bag and two hearts. Yeah. Ding, ding. Ooh, an epic level bag. We got a book with Unbreaking 3. I want to know if there's a reason that these things aren't enchanted properly. Because this, this book cannot be used as a book book. And now I'm starting to sound like a chicken. Book, 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 book. Uh, yeah, that book cannot be used as an enchanting book. Uh, it just does not work. Uh, Alright, I want to check a few things that I've just left running. So I put, I think, enough uh, sand in here to make the last of the glass that I need for that one half of the quest. I think I'm missing a little bit of it. Let's have a look. You know what? Easier way of doing this? Just fucking smash it. Stand back. And, of course, stand on the ice. There we go. Right, uh, this glass quest is for the hoarding, and it's the crystal clear. Just hand it in. What you don't want to do, by the way, is you do not want to stand in the massive pile of glass, like just stand right here, or have your magnet on, and then just keep hitting submit over and over. Because uh, that has the same problem that the uh, AE system had, where it would crash the game if you just put too much in there at once. Hey, where'd the rest of that glass go? There was much more than that there. Did I lose some glass somehow? Did it jump into here? Oh, give me that back. I swear there was a lot more glass than that in there. There was like 8,000, wasn't there? Oh, there's some glass here as well. 6,400. Hmm. Now I can't be sure, but I can be pretty sure that when I made that, uh, like when I had it sitting there, there was enough glass in there to finish off my quest. Hmm. Did it delete a bunch of glass when I broke it? Oh well, I need another 3,400, which is uh, divided by 64. That's another 53 stacks. <laughs> Uh, sand, sand, sand. Right, there is... So I go down to... 293... 293, I think. Do, 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 do. I'll just add a bit more to be safe. Oh, well. Uh, really doesn't matter. It's sand and glass. It's uh, sand and lava this is costing me. Not exactly the most expensive items in the game. In fact, quite the contrary. Some of the cheapest items in the game. Uh, let me just do this quickly. Just drop all that down there. I'll be back for that in a second. So by the time this is all done, that should be enough sand, enough for the glass to finish my quest. Which I really did think I put in there before. I'm sure I put enough in there to finish the quest. I'm just going to assume that when I punched the barrel, it only dropped, say, like, a hundred stacks or so. I really couldn't give a fuck. It's not that important. It's glass. It's just going to take longer to do the quest now. So, um, yes, I uh, want to do some more stuff, starting with uh, blood magic. Almost knocked my mouse off the table there. Uh, yes, blood magic. I have built a large area, open area over here, 
for doing some blood magic in, and I've been looking on the wiki a little bit just to see how it all ticks along, and I've got a pretty good understanding of it, so I want to get building. Um, I want to start making some blood magic stuff. I'm actually quite excited to get into this mod from what Seraph tells me. There's some cool shit going on, so what I need to make is the blood runes. And, oh, I'm gonna need some more stone. Thank you. Uh, I've got my bloodstone on me. <laughs> so, the blood runes, which apparently you can't shift click, are the, uh, the basic runes that you put under your uh, thing to actually upgrade the altar. Because the interesting thing about this mod is the altar is a multi-block structure. Now I just need to find out exactly what I want. I want speed runes. Uh, I don't have the sugar so I'm just going to have to make some more blood runes for now then. And you can put different runes, uh, different types of runes underneath there to uh, increase what your altar can do in certain ways. And you actually only need eight. So I built one extra by accident. Oh well. But yes, the, uh, there's five different tiers of altar. You've got tier one, which is just the altar itself. And then depending on the multi-block structure you build around and under it, depends on how, uh, what level your thing is going to be at. So, for the tier one structure, you just put any single non-dirt block, uh, non-air block under there. And then you just put eight runes around it like that and place your altar on there. And this is now a tier two altar, believe it or not. It's as simple as that. So, um, what I really want to do is get to a tier 3 altar, because that's when all the interesting stuff becomes possible. And for that, uh, well, there's a couple of uh, ways of doing this, but most of them are going to be very, very, very long. So what I'm thinking is, if we go look at the runes... Uh, basically, to upgrade the altar, we're going to need another 20 blood runes, uh, these rune blocks. And they're not easy, they're not, well, they're kind of easy, but they take a while to make. Like, these slates have to be done one at a time, and they take about 10 seconds. And they take a 1,000 LP, which is uh, 5 hits of the sacrificial orb, which used to be the sacrificial dagger, is now an orb. So, 10. There should be 2,000 in there right now. And I can actually check that. Why is it draining away? Huh. I actually do not know why that's draining away. Well, fuck. Uh, maybe it drains away because of the runes of the tier? Oh, I actually would not be surprised if that was right, because that's a right fucker. And then, so yeah, you put the... Uh, the item you want to infuse with blood in the center and there you go that's how you make the blood runes and for each one of the normal blood runes you need two blood slates and what I want to do is make some different ones like the rune of self-sacrifice and that requires a whole load of shit going on so I'm gonna need reinforced slate which is a blank rune a blank slate in there with 2000 blood so I actually developed a quite nice system for this, which is, let's just see, right, there's nothing in there. So I'm going to heal myself, and then I need to put this in there, so just damage yourself down to almost dead, and then drink from the potion flask again, and there should be more than enough in there right now. Yeah, there's 4,000, so we actually have enough to do two of these, and I'll just heal myself up again quickly. And uh, I'll just dump a little bit more blood in there. Come on, come on. So it actually has to absorb all the blood, which it does at a set rate of like amount of blood per second. So this is going to take a while, but uh, you may be thinking, what the hell am I doing? I'm absolutely wasting my potions. But I'll have you know I'm actually not. There is zero uses left on that now, so that potion is empty. Let me just get this, the rune of the uh, the second reinforced rune. There we go. So yeah, there's 2600 in there. Nothing's draining now. Hmm. Not a clue. Maybe there was a piece of stone in there that I just couldn't see before. 
But I found a, uh, a, a completely overpowered, let's just call it what it is, it is overpowered to hell, um, way of using uh, these potions. So what you do is you're going to grab yourself some redstone, some glowstone, and some nether wart, which I am almost completely out of. Wow. Okay, note to self, get nether wart, or, you know, grow it, because you can. And you're going to combine your potion, your nether wart, your glowstone, and your redstone. And you can refill your flask. Wow, really? I thought... Oh, wow, okay, you only need one to refill completely. So one nether wart, glowstone, and redstone will, infinite, will inf instantly refill your potion flask. Holy fuck, I thought it was going to be one per use. And even then it was overpowered. I was like, oh really, I can refill one use of this seven minute regen potion for the cost of glowstone, redstone, and nether wart. That's overpowered as fuck. But then it turns out it does... Oh wow, that is awesomely overpowered. Like, holy fuck, guys. That is... Wow. I, I'm literally lost for words, so I've turned into a retard, apparently. Let's see. I'm going to need the Apprentice Blood Orb for this, which is a Tier 2 and an Emerald. Uh, that's another reason to make the Tier 2, is so that you can make the better Blood Orb. Um, 5,000 Blood, and then I'm just going to need some Enderium, which I can get sorted later. But I'd like to have the ability to make these uh, Runes of Self-Sacrifice, basically... The runes that you put around here, the blood runes, um, some, if not all of them, can be replaced with uh, the other runes up here. So self-sacrifice, sacrifice, efficiency, speed, uh, augmented capacity, dislocation, and of the orb. I'm not exactly sure what of the orb does, but they each have an effect on the altar, either making it be able to hold more uh, fluid, or so 26, so... Uh, 30 and oh that was the regen potion dicks that should be 5000 yes excellent and I will place my Uruma rule in there and what I'll do is I'll just turn on my particles quickly so you can see so when it's uh, working on infusing the blood you get these red blood particles coming off ignore the particles coming off of me because I have potion effects and such. Oh. Oh, that's how it's done. I thought that looked a little overpowered. Seraph was telling me something about that. You don't refill your potions. You refill the potion flasks and then you have to turn them back into the potions they were. Well, it's not as overpowered as I thought. I was thinking, considering, like, Everything in this pack has been harder to make in almost every way. I thought it was a little bit odd that you'd be able to uh, make like those potions so easily. And there's our new blood orb. Sweet. Ow. Yes, clearly the blood orb is bound to me. Yes. Um, so what you can do, by the way, is uh, you have a spell network, as you see there. And if you right-click, you hurt yourself to put power into your spell network. And now I have the Apprentice Blood Orb, which is the next level. Awesome. I wonder if it does anything to... Uh... No? Cool. Um... Right, so I need this to actually do the crafting recipe. So the next thing I need is just Enderium for that. And what I was thinking was, there's some other stuff you can do with this. So you can make sigils... You can make a spell table. Ooh, so making spells. That's actually very interesting. Sigil of the Fast Miner, Sigil of the Green Glove. Wow. <laughs> That's a little expensive. Uh, Rune of Sacrifice and the Rune of Self Sacrifice. Now, I had a use for these Fluxed Electrum. I made a bunch of them, and it wasn't just for tools. Um... Ah, yes, I wanted to make the Runes of Augmented Capacity. Which uh, you place under your or uh, your blood or and what it does is increase the amount of blood it can hold by I think fifteen hundred per rune. So the augmented capacity is not really that hard to make. It does require the imbued slate, 
which means you need a level three blood altar, which to uh, make the reinforced slate and 5k blood each as well. Damn. Okay, so I'm obviously trying to move forward too quickly, and that always just causes problems. Uh, so for now, I'm just gonna grab a chest and sling some of this stuff over here. Do 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 do. Right, uh, chest, I'm just going to sling this stuff in here, and I'm going to come back and have another look at some stuff later on. I just really wanted to get some of this stuff done, and by the way, that um, blood orb that we made, is that good enough? It's not good enough for the quest. We need uh, the next level. Blood orb. If we make the magician's blood orb, we, we need a tier 3 altar for that. Oh, well, we'll leave that for later then. Uh, I was looking in the quests earlier, and I stumbled across this. Blacksmith blocks. A hundred seared stone. Um, and I don't know if that's supposed to be a hundred thousand or something, but I want to knock that quest out before they update it. Because seared stone is very easy to make. Do, do, do. All it requires is 144 millibuckets of seared stone. Or seared, yeah, seared stone. Poured in directly into a thing. Uh, my smelter is currently in use, so I will have to leave that one till later. But that's uh, a fairly simple quest to actually knock out when you do want to do it. Um, let's take a quick look at... Go with the flow. Yeah, let's go with the flow. Damn it. Go back in there. So I've been trying to do the smelly shit, and I've got a quarter of it, which is 409 buckets. Hang on a minute. But if you take the last you know, 160,000 buckets, yeah, it is 160,000 buckets. It looks like I've handed in 4,096. Ha! <laughs> 4,096. That's, uh, the, it goes in the 1024. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've handed in about a quarter of it, so I need to hand in, if I've done 4,000 buckets, or 4 killer buckets, I've got about another quarter of it there. So what I'm probably going to do is just breed my cows some more. Because why not? Um, the more cows I've got, the more cows I can later slaughter and use for other things. Uh, if we take a look in the Hell's Kitchen. At the vinegar. I need 2,559 melons. I have 2,300 melons. Ooh, I wonder if I can find some apples or something. Because I only need, like, a couple of stacks. Sweet, I should be able to finish this vinegar quest. I have been wanting to finish this quest from the second I found it, because the one of the rewards for it is a strong box. Um, so, juicer, we're going to knock this quest out quickly and see what we get. I cannot wait to knock this quest out. Uh, melon. Make a bunch of melon juice. Deposit it in the system. Make even more melon juice. And then the apple juice too. So we have 2,315 and two extra stacks. So this should put us really damn close to being able to uh, finish this off. And, yeah, I've still got a whole load of, uh, those things. Uh, let's dump those in. That puts us 1,500 away. Just make some more vinegar. And dump these glass bottles. If anyone knows anything I can do with all these glass bottles, leave me a comment. Because I honestly haven't got a fucking clue. I've got all these glass bottles and I'm just like, what the bloody hell am I going to do with these? That should be enough. It is! Sweet! Oh, yes. I am so excited to see what the hell is in this uh, this strong box. And here we go. Reward. So, we take the full heart. Nom, 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 nom. We take the epic bag. Ooh. Uh, imp skin. Protection and fire protection. Oh, I see. It's got double protection on the armor. I suppose that's cool. Oh, what's in here? What's in here? We have ethereal bloom, shimmer leaves, and cinder pearls. 
Well, I never. That is really good. But I got really lucky early on and picked up a bunch of cinder pearls and shimmer leaves. Or shimmer leaves. So I kind of don't need those, but ethereal blooms are nice. Um, I don't think you need them in this map though, because the ethereal blooms are the ones that you uh, you plant down to stop the taint from spreading. Hmm. Well, I mean if you haven't got as lucky as I have with uh, bags over the time, then that's a really good bag, but I personally am a little disappointed I have to say. Um, so let's move on to another quest. I fully automated the presser so you have this coming down it feeds into the top of the presser this pulls the items out uh, this only accepts silken tofu and then it presses it down into firm tofu and then gets hoppered out and at the same time everything else comes in here and all this silken and uh, oh firm tofu actually because I'm not using silken for anything and soy milk is uh, should actually be way more than enough to make the uh, stuff I've been looking at making. So, um, tofu? Yes, I have 3,000 tofu. And soy milk? Uh, yes, I have 2,000 soy milk. So, what I want to do is uh, I'm supposed to be making the bacon cheeseburger or the bacon mushroom bacon cheeseburger, which you then use with a mushroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I need my 1000 toast which I think is already actually in there and that gets me my hamburger and is it the hamburger that uses with the cheese to get the cheeseburger uh, no I need a bacon cheeseburger so I take a cheeseburger and then put more bacon on it nice yeah so I just make the hamburger. I don't want to go making the wrong thing. So, I made a couple of extras just to save time. By the way, uh, anyone doing Thorncraft, these foods are actually incredibly good for research. Because most of the stuff like hamburger level stuff, and like even my fish and chips, has uh, research to be done on it. And it's very, very useful. So the next thing to do is mix the hamburger with the cheese. So now I just need to make the cheese. Uh, soy milk. Okay, let's just dump these hamburgers off. That should be 15. Uh, 15 stacks of that. We just do this. That is 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, now I just need 40 of them. And, I mean, I've got nothing else to use the cheese for, so why not just do it like that? And there's my 40... Uh, well, there's all my stacks of that. And then we take the cheese and we mix it with the hamburger to make the cheeseburger. And then we mix the cheeseburger with the bacon. Yes, good, right. So we take that and we put it on that. Dump this in here, and then we take all these, lovely, and then we mix these with the firm tofu to get the bacon cheeseburger, lovely, 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 uh, yes, and this is making me very hungry, I must say. And then the bacon cheeseburger we mix with mushrooms to get the mushroom or bacon mushroom cheeseburger. And also, while I'm here, I shall see if this... Ding! Look at all that research. In fact, if I've still got any in there... Uh, buta. Uh, it wasn't butter, was it? It was cheese. Yes, there it is, my cheese ingot. My ingot of cheese. There you go, even the cheese has stuff to research on it. And now the only thing I'm actually missing is mushrooms. Uh, but I'm thinking there's several easy ways. The mysteriously appearing snack. Bacon. Oh, I know that. That's what you get from Tinker's Construct Tools that have Tasty on them. 
So, uh, ooh, bacon jerky. Mmm. All this talk of bacon is making me so hungry. So I've got a few mushrooms in here, uh, but nothing really too exciting. So what I'm thinking is, if we force grow some giant mushrooms, and then harvest those, uh, that should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, I can see a lot of reasons why it wouldn't, like it could have been nerfed to hell, like everything else in this pack, but that's part of the fun, is finding out what is and isn't nerfed. Uh, do, 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 do. Here's a nice open space. And then we'll just chuck some mycelium on here. And what we'll do is put a mushroom on there. And I forgot my bone meal. That's how you grow it. Bone meal. Uh, oh, in here. There's bone meal. And we'll just see if we can uh, force grow a giant mushroom. Which I really hope we can do. Because if we can't, I'm going to be really pissed. Ah, we can. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, don't use that. Use an axe. Axe destroys mushroom. Axe greater than mushroom. Yes. So, uh, I can probably work out some way of doing this automatically. Um, yeah, we just need something. What can automated plant? I don't think there's a mushroom, like a dedicated thing for uh, planting and growing mushrooms. Give me my axe. Fuck off, mushroom. Thinking I would get stuck in you. If I can eat you, I can never get stuck inside you. Is uh, it's actually a rather weird thing to say. So yes, I'm gonna have to do this to get mushrooms. Um, there was a couple of other things I was thinking about, but I'm not really sure how they're gonna pan out. Like uh, I know you can make mushrooms, but I'm not 100% how you make mushrooms. I thought it was you put a cow on top of the mushroom spores. Uh, on top of mycelium, sorry, and they turned into mushrooms. But now I'm thinking it might be you place them in witch water. But I really don't want to place witch water because, um, if you didn't know, placing witch water spawns witches. It works like the slime from Tinker's Construct and spawns witches. So I really don't actually want to go placing any witch water in my world. Uh, I'm actually kind of scared about doing that. But then again, I've spent all this time fighting off those cunt bastards in there. I think I can take a few, uh, a few random things. Let's just um, move along from the, that for now. What else do we have in here? We have uh, most important meal, which is hearty breakfast. We only need a hundred of those. Might not be that hard to make. Hearty breakfast. It needs some juice. So. I suppose I could use watermelon juice for that. A fried egg, uh, potato cakes, which are gonna require an onion. Yeah, I don't know if I've got onions. Onions, potato, I can make butter. If I have onions, I can probably make this fried breakfast. Mm, even that's making me hungry, just thinking of like a big fuck off fry up. Uh, I cannot remember how you spell onion. Oh, it's just I O N. I thought so. Da, 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 da. What's that? Onion seed. There we go. We have onion seeds. So we can make a hearty breakfast. Cool. Um, the other things required for the hearty breakfast: uh, the fried egg. We can actually do with tofu if we really want. Uh, tofu is extremely useful. So uh, let's take a look at the hearty breakfast. Again, let's take another look at the hearty breakfast, I should say. So, uh, we can use tofu for that. The fried egg can be done with tofu or actual eggs. Toast, potato cakes just require butter, uh, which we can do with silken tofu or heavy cream. Uh, I can get silken tofu, not a problem. Salt and a saucepan. I don't have a saucepan, so I'll make that now. I've still got plenty of salt. All I need is silken tofu 
Uh, I don't think I have any silken tofu. I think I've um, turned all of it into solid tofu. Yeah, I have. All of it's been turned into solid tofu. Um, so the fried egg, let's just uh, make that. We only need 100, so 64 plus 46, I think. Fuck it. I do not have the patience for doing that slowly. That should be 100. Uh, do, do, do. So that would be the uh, egg. I made 110, didn't I? Do, do. Yeah, there you go, that's 100. Uh, so that's the fried egg out of the way. And then we just need some toast. Uh, I've probably still got a bunch of dough kicking around. No, I'm actually missing the wheat. And it is wheat and a... What was that thing called that goes with the wheat? Mortar and pestle? Yeah, well, mortar and pestle. Make a couple of stacks of that. And then we just make some dough. What did we run out of? Water? Are you bloody kidding me? Uh, I should have some water back here. I should really just make myself an auto crafting system and use a liquid crafting chamber on the inside of it so that I can actually do liquid crafted recipes. There you go, that's actually a hundred dough. Uh, no, it's not, I'm missing two actually. That makes it almost a hundred. No, it makes more than a hundred. Damn it, I did the same thing I did last time. So yeah, that's a hundred dough which will give me another hundred toast. Uh, so I'll just sling that in there. This should still be set to toastify. That's why I wasn't getting my stone coming through. I still had this set to toastify. I was I was wondering. I was like, I swear I put like five stacks of uh, stuff in there to toast up or to stone. I suppose. Uh, what's the difference? Oh my god, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. I want some chocolate milk, guys. I really want chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. I like chocolate milk. Oh, why did no one tell me there was chocolate milk in this? I would have been all over that. Oh, I'm kind of sad now. Because I could have been drinking chocolate milk for all my meals all this, this entire time. So I'm just going to force grow some onions. Well, this won't not take that long at all. We're already a quarter of the way there. And that's a stack. Yeah, that's a stack there. Oh, sorry. Oh, should not be drinking fizzy stuff while I'm recording. Terrible, terrible, terrible manners. And that's 100 onions. So that's the onions done there. Uh, so I am going to need the butter, which means I'll have to grow some more soy, which is not a problem because soy is pretty much one of the only crops that I uh, grow. I just literally stand here like this and I grow the soy. I grow the soy. I grow the soy. And this is not going to get me enough. Damn. Uh, and this is very easy to turn off as well. All you have to do is this. You technically only need to hit it once, but I prefer hitting it twice. So I'm going to need more soy. Then again, looking at how the uh, the soy works now, I'm going to be able to use soy for pretty much everything. Because uh, I can use it for any meat substitute. It was a shame, actually, because uh, before they added the soy in as a legit thing, it was just uh, basically like a dev cheat command. So the soy gave you everything you could possibly want so you could use soy in place of vegetables so uh, the soy had it was like list all meat vegetables uh, creams everything the soy was incredible then it's still really 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 good um, oh yeah that's just gonna clog up actually isn't it I should probably just Take that off. Just pull everything out. 
Why are you not pulling out? I like how it makes my inventory go all classy looking. Okay, look, just output your damn food. Just output that stuff, yes, into there. Do you not want to output into the chest? Will you output if I reconnect that? No, it's just going to be really fucking awkward for me. Also, can you not use... I just thought of this. I need butter for use with the onions, yeah. And can you not make heavy cream out of soy milk? You'd think you'd be able to. A uh, mixing bowl. And soy milk. Because I've got soy milk. You can make heavy cream out of it. Well, there you go. So I actually don't need the silken stuff after all. Uh, butter, like that. Stick my heavy cream in ya. <laughs> I make myself laugh. I really shouldn't, because that wasn't funny. That was hardly even an innuendo. That was just, like, a dirty old man laugh. I need potatoes. Uh, I should have potatoes over here. Lovely. And I think I picked up a sapling as well. Make me some more potato fritters. Or potato cakes. Whatever you want to call them. Uh, more potatoes. Lovely. That gives me the 100 I need. So, um... If we just check, all we need now is for the toast to finish, and we need some juice. And I think we might just have some melons. Ah, we don't have enough melons. Done. Um, well, we can mix and match with melons and apples. We only need 100 juice. And there's 50 apples. Well, 49 apples. That will cover half of it, and then the... Melons can cover the other half. Um, juice, juice. Lovely. Uh, fuck it, let's just do that. And then make the apple juice. Put those both in there. And then all we need is the toast. How much toast is done? Uh, about 80. Damn, so we are just a little away. But we can make a decent amount already. Um, ooh. Ah, there you go, you can use melon juice. Good, 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 good. It also gives you the glass bottle back when you make the juice, and it, it doesn't cost the glass bottle to make it, though. That, this mod pack seems really intent. Like, this melon juice just cost the juicer and a melon, and the glass bottle came out of nowhere. But when I make it... It gives me the glass bottle back. That seems a little weird. Then again, it does the same thing with the vinegar. When you make the vinegar, the vinegar itself gets put into a thing. Uh, gets the the stuff gets put into a jar. But then you get the jar of vinegar, and you also get a second jar. By the way, I do realise we are running over, but I'd kind of like to finish this quest. And then go off and work on some other things off camera. So that should be all of the toast needed. 89. Yeah, that is, yeah. Lovely. So I love how in these episodes I get to show you guys exactly how bad I am at math. There we go. That's uh, that's the hearty breakfast reward done. Uh, quest done, even. So I can just dump these. Another two full hearts. Ding! I love how quickly I'm getting hearts now. And I also got an epic reward bag. Ooh! Eight entropy crystal clusters. And then one of each type and a mixed. You know the best thing about these? Is that if you don't want to use them as crystal clusters, you can get the bloody crystals. So what they've essentially given me here is a couple of stacks of crystals. Of uh, shards, even. And I would have been very happy to receive some shards. 
Because the shards are a pain in the dick to get. So, uh, hey, we just knocked off another quest on the list, and I didn't even mean to. I just looked at it, and I was like, we can do that. So now all we need to do is grow 10,000 tomatoes, 50,000 lettuce, which seems a bit stupid. 50,000 lettuce. Damn. Um... Yeah, and then the spaghetti with meatballs, a thousand of those. Let's see what it takes to make those, because I could probably set that up for next episode. Uh, we need spaghetti and then firm tofu. Spaghetti, we're going to need tomato, oh, spice leaf. I'm going to need a thousand spice leaves and a thousand tomatoes. If I can get myself enough bone meal, I can just AFK grow this stuff. Literally, you just uh, you fill the bottom three lines of your inventory with bone meal, leave the top one free, and then you just hold right, well, you just uh, put a rubber band around your mouse holding right click on the plant, and it does everything for you. So, uh, yeah, I might just have to force grow some more things, but that will be very cool, and uh, I might have a quest to hand in at the start of next episode, or just some stuff to craft and then hand in. So, um, I know this has been a very long one, but I know you guys also like my long ones. Sexual joke. Um, oh yeah, we have the bacon cheeseburgers. We also need the mushrooms for those. Sorry about that. That was some phone interference. So, uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying. I'm also going to need more butter and dough. Not a problem at all, really. Really not a problem. Nah, not a fucking problem. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've been enjoying this uh, series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I actually might do something a little different next episode instead of just doing a whole bunch of random stuff. So make sure you tune in for that. I will see you next episode. Peace out.